this war is all is by Russia to denazify Ukraine. Can you respond to that? That's a really, that's a really important question. Um, I'm Jewish. Uh, I take the threat of the far right in Ukraine very seriously. Ukraine has a serious problem with the far right. Um, uh, Ukraine has a troubled history with anti-Semitism, with uh, ethnic cleansing and earlier generations of Poles. Um, but that, it is not a country controlled by Nazis. That is a Russian fantasy that they use to justify their own imperial policies. Russia does not acknowledge that Ukraine is a different culture, not one that's alien to them. They're close, they are relatives but it will not acknowledge that they have agency and that they have sovereignty. And in, it can't say that openly. It can't just say, uh, we refuse to let this little country exist. It's not a little country, actually. It's an enormous country, but compared to Russia, it's little. And so the Nazi element is their emotional, um, manipulation of a real problem that's this big, and I'm not saying it's a small one, it threatens Ukraine's future. Ukraine needs to confront its far right. It needs to work on the same way we do in the United States. I mean, look, see how the alt-right came out of the woodwork. You know, we didn't realize it was such a problem. It's a serious problem in Ukraine, but it is absolutely not the case that the country's government is controlled by Nazis. Um, I, participate in our local Jewish community in the city where we escaped from and at a national level in some Jewish organization, Jewish communities do not feel threatened by their neighbors or by the Ukrainian state. And most of them have spoken up to say, this war is fascist. So uh, thank you for bringing that up. Um, we, are, we need to be vigilant about the problem of the far right in Ukraine, but it, there is no justification for a war by Russia uh, to, remove some fictional fascist government in, in Ukraine.